The animal kingdom. The animal kingdom contains a number of phyla, the main eight of which are shown below. These can be sorted further into classes, orders, families, genera, and species. See previous page. Below you can see how a single species, such as a timber wolf, can be traced from one of the phyla. Each step down becomes more specific and includes fewer animals than the one before. Phyla. Annelids, worm-like with segmented bodies. Flatworms, worm-like with flat unsegmented bodies. Anthropods, segmented bodies, jointed legs, hard exoskeleton. Nematodes, round worm-like bodies, no segments. Chordates, body is supported by a stiff rod called a notochord. Echinoderms. Spiny, skin, sucker feet with a five-rayed body. Mollusks, soft-bodied creatures, most have shells. Cnidarians, live in water, have sac-like body with single opening. Classes, fish, animals that live in water, have scales and fins and breathe with gills. Reptiles, scaly, cold-blooded animals that lay eggs. Mammals, Warm-blooded animals that suckle their young with milk. Amphibians, cold-blooded, soft-skinned animals that live on land and in water. Birds, warm-blooded, egg-laying animals with feathers and wings. Others. Orders. Primates, monkeys, apes, and similar creatures with hands and feet that grip. Carnivores, meat-eating animals such as lions and foxes. Rodents. Mammals with long front teeth for gnawing, such as rats and squirrels. Others. Families. Felines. All types of cats and cat-like mammals. Canines. All types of dogs and dog-like mammals. Others. Genera. Canis. Various dogs, wolves, and jackals. Volpes. Various foxes. Others. Species. Timberwolf. Coyote, others. Naming things. Living things are generally given one or more common names and a biological name. The common name is the one used by most people, such as tawny owl or red squirrel. A biological name is needed because an animal may have many common names, each one used in a different area. Biological names are usually in Latin. These names can be recognized by scientists all over the world. These butterflies are so rare that they do not have common names, only biological names. Calicor silene, Agrius laudina, Calicor mangeli. The biological name is created using the binomial system, which means that it is made up of two parts. The first part, called a generic name, is based on the organism's genus. The second part, called the specific epithet, identifies its species. In many cases, a biological name refers to the animal's appearance, habitat, or body features. For instance, a giraffe's biological name is Giraffa camelopardalis. Giraffa means swift walker, camel means camel-like, and pardalis means marked like a leopard. So a giraffe is a swift-moving camel-like animal with a patterned coat like a leopard. Subspecies in some cases, there are also subspecies which have a third part added to their biological name. This can refer to the area in which the subspecies is found, or to a particular characteristic. This tiger's name is Panthera tigris sumatrae. The third part of its name shows that it is a subspecies from Sumatra. Informal groups. Different species which share certain types of lifestyle can also be put together in informal groups by using terms which describe this lifestyle. Social and nocturnal animals are two such terms, and there are other examples below. An animal or plant which lives and feeds on another organism called the host is known as a parasite. Some parasites are harmful to their hosts. Fleas are common parasites which feed on the blood of their hosts. Mutualists are animals or plants which live close together in a situation where both gain. For example, birds called oxpeckers eat parasites that live on the hides of larger animals, such as buffalo and zebra. The larger animals benefit in turn from having the pests removed. 
two species in a relationship where one gains without affecting the other are called commensals. House mice, for example, live where humans are found and feed on their scraps. An animal's biological name can refer to a feature of its behavior. Giraffes share their peculiar gait with camels. The two left legs move together, then the two right legs, hence the name camelopardalis.